Good morning. Sunday morning. Happy Sunday. Welcome to Zeducation, and welcome to another episode of You Laugh, You Lose. If you guys are new here, the game is very simple. If you laugh at anything in today's video, you lose and you have to do a punishment. What is today's punishment? Very simple punishment again today. We have another podcast out and I finally have some co-hosts. So you have to go over to the podcast channel, subscribe there and download it on your podcasting app. That is your punishment. Very simple. So I hope you guys can do that. If you accept the terms of today's game, head down, please like this video and make sure you are subscribed and have the bell clicked for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Now on to today's game. If you laugh, you lose, go. Men always say how women's soccer sucks. Then come to the field and try it with us. The Australian women's national team, who were ranked number five in the world at the time, yeah. lost 7-0 to a team of 15-year-old boys. Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's just too good. Oh, come to the field and try it. Oh, dude. Two trips are for the week. Just like I said in the last episode. Man up. If you're taking more than two trips, you're doing it wrong. Man up. When you realize Elon Musk's birthday is 69 days after 420. <laughs> oh, dude, that's so crazy, bro. Oh, dude, 420, bro. Jesus is watching. Lay off the devil's lettuce, boys. Broccoli is said to be good for joints. So here goes. Child, grow up. What were you expecting from Greta's OnlyFans? Guys, this is absolutely reprehensible. Grow up. I I'm sick of this episode already. Come on. We do not discriminate against people of color. There is no racial bigotry here. Here, you are all equally worthless. That's why I love the military. It's true. Everyone is equally worthless there. Only exists in your mind. Only exists in your mind. Ooh, where'd it go? I'm honestly mind blown from each of those clips. I, really? Really, guys? Now I'm an SJW? Now my face is on an SJW? Come on. Now I'm really offended. You're comparing me to this epic, iconic SJW? Unbelievable. Hey, want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? Where's your mask? <laughs> That is, uh, you know, the, the actual scene. That's pretty annoying, but this is way more annoying. I'm sick of it. Dogecoin has just made up money with an infinite supply. Federal Reserve. That's, oh, guys, but it's backed by the U.S. government, which is pretty useless as well. So, military war cries. Ooh, uh. Who ya? Ooh, uh. Ouch, I got a paper cut. I'm feeling attacked this episode. This is just... <laughs> come on come on man new york by popular demand to be more inclusive by renaming manhattan to womanhattan it's about damn time you know the patriarchy named it manhattan it's time we rename it to womanhattan i don't care how old i am hold my damn shoes i think that was dangerous to go in but like pre-covid there's a lot of nasty stuff in those ball pits. I highly recommend you don't go. I don't care what age you are. That's... Nah. Primary schools in Hungary opened again. This was on the national news. <laughs> that is amazing. If I were that kid's parents, I would definitely reprimand him. But there's this ounce of me that would feel a little bit proud. You know? <laughs> it's just... He's fearless, you guys. He's fearless. He's saying F you to the system. This is a punk rocker. This is the type of mentality we need more of. But hey, whoa, 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 whoa. don't do that. Don't, don't say vulgar. Don't do vulgar things. What am I saying? What am I, uh, what's wrong with me? Well, here's a quick update on my life. No one asked. A couple months ago, I told you guys I'm getting out of the Marine Corps. Well, you can't just up and leave. News to me. Just kidding. Well, like most Marines, just in case I put in a reenlistment package. I was going to get out, but then they're like, hey, how about not a four-year reenlistment, but we'll give you a 12-month extension. So I was like, okay, I'm listening. I'm thinking I could stay in San Diego, keep working here. Not a bad spot to be. Went to go sign the papers. They're like, yeah, no, that's not how that works. They were like, when you sign this 12-month extension, you got to go to Japan for three years. Now, I'm no mathematician. 
Why? Huh? To be continued. That's actually a good lesson for anyone in the military or thinking about joining. Uh, this goes for re-enlistments. It goes for bonuses. They'll say, yeah, you get 20 grand or whatever the bonus might be. But there's always a stipulation. It's like, oh, well, you get it after so much time or every year you get a, a whatever, a chunk of that. Read the contract, all right? Don't fall for it. Do not get sucked into it. This happens all the time. Seen it a thousand times. When a cop saves your life and everyone's mad at the cop. Actually, has anyone interviewed the girl in the pink yet? And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then uh, just move on or go find the, the incident in Ohio from this past week. But has anyone interviewed that girl yet? I would love to hear what she has to say. Isn't it amazing how one tiny sperm can turn into a giant piece of shit? <laughs> we got 7 billion people and I'm just gonna es estimate there are a couple billion at least where this case happens. So this happens a lot. It is amazing though that how that tiny little thing can turn into, you know, such a disaster. Scientists who didn't predict a single thing accurately for the last 12 months, confident they know what the weather is going to be like in 100 years. That's uh, actually not satire. That is real. That's the crazy thing is this is actually happening. We have countless examples of them being wrong. The experts, the scientists, they've been wrong many, 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 many times. But now we need to listen to them. We need to divert trillions in all of these bills. They're not, you know, the climate change stuff, it's not a politically motivated tool, not at all. Trust them, they're right this time. I passed a billionaire on the freeway this morning. Hope you got a picture, that's a uh, person rich, loaded. Just two teenagers playing with knives as it has been done for eons. <laughs> this was actually the argument from the Columbus stuff. People have been doing this for eons. They've been fighting for eons. Let them fight. I'm not kidding you. That's the argument, the counter arguments to uh, say all the police are bad. You know, this that was what was happening. We live in clown world, you guys. Clown world. Look at this. I, this is it right here. Teenagers have been having fights, including fights involving knives for eons. You guys. Clown world. Clown world. A debate between these two would be epic. March 2020, March 2021. It would be epic. Totally different stances, totally different views, totally different theories. Uh, it would be crazy to see. But according to him, he just he doesn't know why people criticize him. He doesn't know where that's coming from. It's just, you know, po politics, people playing politics. And, and that's why he gets all this heat. It's not because he's flip-flopped and been wrong many times. Not at all. No offense to my husband, but there's no way our wedding will be the best day of my life. My COVID vaccine anniversary will always be more important. <laughs> this is where we are. This is how... Oh man, the, the hysteria, the absolute insanity in our world today. And I want to say too, she doesn't look very old. She looks like she might be in her 20s. Sad. No dry towel, no problem. I guess that works. Um, mm, come on, man. <laughs> That's actually funny. <laughs> Before we work on artificial intelligence, why don't we do something about natural stupidity? Eh? There we go. Someone speaking with logic. We haven't fixed all of our problems yet. What are we doing when it's too hot for a one piece? The messed up part is I think there are people out there that would wear something like this. I tried so hard and got so far, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. Get it? Because like it doesn't even matter because it's like the words of the song that's the so it's, it's so funny uh, ha, 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 ha. dumb if you're over 35 hire movers your friends are too old nobody wants to slip a disc for pizza and two bud lights <laughs> it's kind of funny I, i'm not even 35 and going to help someone move is great you know it's an easy way to help somebody help your friends out but uh i kind of feel like this already you know sometimes it's like uh, sorry movers dude come on i just finished a new deck $800 worth of lumber. It's 
probably an accurate estimate right there. When the Air Force guy says he was forced to work out, Army and Marines. Guys, now I am being attacked on this episode. This is out of control. Stop attacking me on my own show here. I'm the last person on Earth. You still need to wear a mask. <laughs> uh, fact check true, he would say this. Joe, who needs a hundred round magazine? Me. Who needs 25,000 troops for an inauguration? By the way, when is the uh, State of the Union? You know, are they worried that he's going to make a fool of himself? I, I don't know, but why has he not done that yet? That's, that's kind of weird to me. Plus size women admit they aren't attracted to overweight men. Hold on, how come the women get to be plus size, but the men are overweight? <sighs> I expect nothing less in today's clown world. Um, you know, justice, you know, don't be fat phobic, but you don't prefer overweight men either. And then the, the spin on the headline, you know, it's, that's the, that's the world we live in. Time flies. Actual photos, actually, you know, that, those are real photos. That's a then and now photo. It's real. You ain't gonna believe who's super cute. Read the first two words. You ain't. Such a stupid joke. <laughs> Sitting here waiting for my AR-15 to get up and attack me. Be careful. You're going to need 24-hour surveillance on that AR-15 because they just, without anyone controlling them, they do it on their own. Just get up and shoot people. That's what happens. It's weird. So I hope you you have someone on there on standby guarding that thing 24-7. Friend, wow, you got thinner. What's your diet? Me, poverty. That's so stupid, but I don't know why. That's hilarious. <laughs> it's a good it's a good diet if you want to lose weight, I guess. Trade offer. I receive two socks. You receive one sock. This meme has been going crazy lately, but uh, this is actually one of the best ones I have seen because it's true. I don't know why, but the dryer is, is a sock monster. I, I don't know what happens. It's bizarre. Was going to go through insurance, but sold the plywood and bought a brand new car. Your lucky day. Yeah, that's like a million bucks right there. When your sins are just too many. Communion Toast Crunch. You must be pretty sinful. That is a lot of Communion Toast Crunch. And I gotta say, um, I don't know. It doesn't look that good. You know, one wafer should be enough. Lucky you didn't get punched in the face. Why do white people say white privilege is not a real thing? Well, for a few reasons, we say it's not a real thing. For example, somebody like me, who went through war, famine, and extreme poverty, how can, how can I be privileged? How can I, was I privileged when I was in a refugee camp? Was I privileged when, when I was, when I didn't have food for, for a whole in here, I survived off uh, water and rice. Was I privileged then? When was I privileged? Explain to me. How was I privileged to live uh, to live the war at 10 years old? How was I privileged? Explain to me. Explain to me how was I privileged when I came to Canada and my mom uh, my mom was on the social assistance because she didn't speak the language. How was I privileged? Which part of my life was I privileged? And what was given to me solely based on the color of my uh, on my skin? Go ahead, explain. Eh? Someone, please explain in the comments. Sadly, some people just can't get past skin color. They don't understand or recognize that there are many variables in our lives. And uh, pigmentation in our skin is not the only thing that matters when it comes to the idea of privilege. Me, after giving a hotspot to my friends. Helping the poor is my passion. So generous of you. Hello, darkness, my old friend. The best game for that? The Wayne Gretzky NHL game, by far. Or the duck shooting game, that was cool too. I just want a boyfriend that will be giving me 70% of his daily income, but your Twitter name is Miss Independent. Don't point that stuff out, come on, come on. Cop, if you'll sit tight for a minute, I'll call LeBron and see what I need to do. <laughs> You're next. Uh, if you didn't see that, we'll go over that this week, but yeah, uh, cops out there, any of you cops, 
Make sure you check with LeBron. Make sure you check with all these athletes and make sure you're doing the right thing. Following your training, just give him a call if you're in doubt, okay? Chuck Norris smoked weed once. The weed got high. I like Chuck Norris jokes, but that one, I don't know, fell a little short. I don't think my pharmacist likes me. Swallow how? <laughs> Ah, oh, yeah, that, that pharmacist hates you. Oh, that is fantastic. <laughs> Swallow her. <laughs> Local Japanese girl. Okinawa Marines. <laughs> so true. Oh, that's hilarious. I can confirm I was there for two years. That's, uh, that's a fact check true. I thought one time wouldn't hurt. If you or someone you know has a meme problem, please call 1-800-MEME. <laughs> that probably is every one of you watching this. So if anyone is in the background and, you know, doesn't watch my channel and you're watching someone else that you love watching this show right now, call this number because whoever's watching this, your loved one has a problem. They have a meme problem. On the plus side, I am completely immune to flashbang grenades. Helen Keller. Actual quote, she said this, guys. She's, you know, immune to flashbang grenades and she's not wrong. She's, that's a, that's a fact check true. If a man can identify as a woman, then a small business can identify as Walmart. And a small business can identify as a non-taxable religious organization. And uh, we should all be doing that. Mom, no one's watching my podcast. Try wearing a hat and some headphones. That worked. Thanks, Mom. Baby roof. This works, guys. Put a hat and headphones on if you're trying to create a channel, create a, a following hat and headphones. That's where it is. America burning up China. Oh, they are just loving it. Loving the chaos. They absolutely love it. Not just China either. Everyone. Russia, Europe, the rest of Asia. They love seeing us crumble. Taking ourselves out. It's long past time we had a national conversation about the discriminatory practice of many police departments to target people who are committing crimes. I agree. It's way, way past due. How dare they? Dear cancel culture, aim higher. Go for the IRS been saying this the whole time it's one of the themes of this channel taxes are dumb taxes are theft they really are go higher aim higher come on cancel culture please we can all work together on this one this is mutually beneficial for all of us you know go to a flat tax 12 percent on everything on every transaction you don't even need the irs it it only makes sense but come on come on guys sharpton climate change is a civil rights issue also sharpton film me walking onto a private jet Race baiter. It's really sad to see that him take advantage of people like he does. It's it's pretty disgusting. So this didn't work? <laughs> I was convinced that this was going to work. I thought it was, you know, a foolproof way to fix everything. I just can't believe it. Magic Mike grossed 167 million. If you still think girls like dad bods, keep dreaming, pal. Uh, Shrek grossed 484 million, just so we're clear. Uh, that's, I mean, kind of a good point, actually. Although, ladies, any of you ladies watching this, dad bods, no dad bods, let us know in the comments. If someone pulls a prank like this on me, I would literally die. So, so, so stupid. Nobody. YouTube thumbnails. What the hell is that? Okay, Elon Musk, alien. Is that a piece of pizza? Or is that an explosion? I don't even know. What is that? Is it coming out of that alien's mouth? You know, I want to say that this is a fantastic YouTube thumbnail because it's so bizarre, so out there, uh, implying a lot of stuff here. I Elon Musk, an alien. Aliens breathe fire. Aliens breathe pizza. You know, I don't know. I got to click on this to see what it's about. 8 p.m. One beer? 8 p.m. All right, one beer. 4 a.m. <laughs> that is one of the worst things. I I hate that so much, and I've been there too many times. You have bad friends if this is you. Bad, bad friends. Hi, my name is Erin. I use she, her pronouns, and I am a... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Even the cats, even the kitties are sick of this crap. Oh, my, that is fantastic. Thank you, kitty. How did you do in today's game? Did you laugh at anything? If you did, you lose and you have to make sure you're subscribed to this channel and you have to go check out the podcast channel and go subscribe there as well. Let me know how you did down in the comments. While you're down there, please like this video. Please help me get it recommended to others. That's it for today's video. Until next time, I'm Tyler Zed and this is Education.
and the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down so it was straight and then watch the hair come back up again. They look at it. So I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap. And I've loved kids jumping on my lap. Idiots.